All right, so get this. Today we're going deep, and I mean deep, into embracing the void. ZT Tosha, right. Intriguing writer. Yeah, really interesting stuff. And they call themselves an architect of reversals, which honestly, when I first heard that, I was like, what in the world? It's one of those things, you know, mm -hmm. sounds kind of backwards at first. Totally. It's like, imagine building something by starting with the empty space. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like a sculptor. But instead of just chipping away at the stone, they're looking at the empty space as like part of the art itself. Is wild. Mind blowing. And embracing the void takes this whole idea and uh, really dives headfirst into this concept of the void, not as just nothingness, though, but as like this driving force for creation, for change, for everything. And Toshi uses some really powerful imagery to get that across, too. Like uh, they describe the void as this like clash of angles and curbs, a place where, <laughs> hold on, I've got it written down here somewhere. Ah, oh, yes. Seeds of transformation. They make it feel like you're actually looking into the heart of where things begin. Totally. I mean, listen to this line. Silent and unseen, the void molds my existence. Gave me chills when I first read it. It's like they're saying these unseen forces, these voids, are always shaping who we are, mm -hmm. even when we don't realize it. Exactly. It's kind of like we're all carrying around these little, I don't know, empty spaces within us, right? And that's where it gets really, really interesting. Mm -hmm. Because Tosha isn't just talking about empty space, like physically empty. They're talking about gaps in what we understand, the fears and doubts we all have inside. Those are the voids they want us to really confront. But not in a scary way, right? More like understanding how those things can help us grow. Exactly. They're saying that by facing those personal voids, whether it's writer's block, self-doubt, or even just those times when you feel a bit lost by facing those head on, you open up all these new doors. So like the stuff that makes us uncomfortable, the stuff we'd usually avoid, that's the key to unlocking something more. Exactly. And I think that's what makes Tosha's message resonate. It's like a universal truth. Mm. We grow the most when we're unsure, when we feel vulnerable. When have you learned the most about yourself? Mm. That's a good question. Right. And the answer is usually when you've been pushed, when you're out of your comfort zone, facing something new. It's like, a, you know that saying, out of the ashes? Totally. But here it's more like out of the void. Yes. Exactly. It's not about chasing emptiness, but seeing how those seemingly empty spaces, those moments of doubt, can be like fertile ground for growth, for change. It's such a different way of looking at things. Instead of fearing the void, ZT Tosha wants us to see it as this, this wellspring of potential, a place to discover who we really are. And it reminds us, sometimes the biggest transformations, they don't happen in all the chaos. They happen in the silence when we sit with the unknown. Wow. So if we embrace those voids, those quiet moments, even the uncertainty, who knows what we might find? Makes you think, huh? It really does. If the void can be so full, what does that say about those times when we feel empty? Silence? Stillness? Something to think about, everyone.